Hey, so we're getting the question a lot right now is, will the market change come the fall? Welcome back to the Quinton Group.tv. Yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton. So a lot of buyers and sellers, and mostly buyers, are keep asking, you know, so the market's super hot right now. What's going to happen right now after summer when the fall market kicks in? What's going to happen in this whole thing? Where, what, what are your thoughts? So, um, you know, I don't have a crystal ball, but let me just share with you a few ideas and thoughts I typically have. Normally, the fall selling season, fall, you know, selling season itself typically uh, goes strong until about November 15th or so. And then obviously you got holiday season that's going to kick in, right? Normally then people's, um, um, they, get, they become more distracted after that point. Obviously you got uh, the holidays coming up, you got Halloween, but not so much. But then, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all the, all the holidays. So I believe that the market's going to continue to be very, very strong now. Will the demand go down a bit? It's sure, I'm sure it will just a bit. Um, will the inventory increase a little bit? I'm sure it will. The challenge is that right now is that inventory is down so far where it is year over year. For example, we're down about 40%. So even if the inventory comes up by say 10% or 20%, we're still nowhere near back to where it was even a year ago. And a year ago, or even say as of March, beginning of March, the market was super, super strong, right? So I, I believe that the prices itself are still gonna stabilize and still see some appreciation because inventory is still gonna be low. Demand is still gonna be high. See, I think right now when someone says to me, you know, what, what's going on in this market? Why, why, why is real estate so hot? And, and specifically to the second home resort, vacation home market um, that we sell to down at the shore, right? I mean, why, why is our market so hot? Well, number one, people are staying closer to home, right? I mean, I haven't been on the plane in three months. Um, people are not going to probably go to Disney like they normally were going to do. They're not going to go on that, that family vacation and travel and get on the plane. They're going to stay closer to home. And if they're going to be staying closer to home, why not be, if they, if they happen to be put back in, in quarantine or, or you know, um, have to you know, stay inside, why not go to the beach, right? Why not go closer to where, uh, the, you know, where, where, they, where they feel more comfortable, right? Maybe less congested outside of the normal day-to-day -day city, right? So I think that travel itself, being closer to the beach environment is gonna help. Um, I think right now people themselves are putting more money into their homes, they're improving their homes, and as they continue to improve their homes, they feel more comfortable there, they're deciding they're not to sell them, right? They're like, nope, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna put money in my existing house instead of going ahead and selling it and, and cashing out. Real estate right now is where everyone's, as their, as their closest family, closest friends, those that they feel most safe with are all gathering together, whether it's in their backyard, at their homes, you know, inside of their house. Like that is a place they feel of safe and, and comfort. So real estate's gonna remain, I think, very, very strong coming into the fall, and inventory is gonna become very low. Supply and demand, it's gonna change, but I don't think it's gonna change drastically for anything to change. In fact, I think it's you can see the market still uh, continue to appreciate. So anyway, if you're thinking of buying or selling, reach out to us direct, Jeff at the Simply give us a call, 609-398-5333. Thanks for watching.